It's little Qbert guys. It's Qbert and uh, the snake. Which, you know, that's Qbert and the snake. Kind of wear it as a ring. A really uncomfortable ring. I also have this a little Qbert arcade cabinet that's playable, but um, it doesn't work right now. I think the battery's dead. I need to open it up, replace it. But it's like techno. Unts, 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 unts. All right, so what am I playing this week? Let's let's first of all let's talk about some of the stuff that I finished, um, and I'm using scare quotes on this first one for finished. Um, Loop Hero. I uh, I have finished. Oh, look at the look at the reflection. Hello. Uh, I have finished Loop Hero on the Switch. I'm using scare quotes when I say that I'm finished it because, technically speaking, I'm not. I haven't 100 percented it. I have finished the main campaign. I have beaten what seems to be the final boss, although looking up online, there, there apparently is uh, some other additional bosses that I missed. There might even be like a secret one at the end that I, uh, you know, didn't get to. But yeah, there's, there's a bunch of additional bosses. Um, there's like five that I know of. Um, but I have not really researched how you go about unlocking those bosses and fighting them. Um, so, like I said, I have not 100% of the game. Uh, but I have completed the main campaign and feel justified putting it back on the shelf. But the thing is, I, uh, I actually don't plan on, uh, even though I'm putting the, the, the case back on the shelf, uh, I actually don't plan on putting the, the cartridge back in the case. Um, I've got a, 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 a travel case for my Switch for when I go on trips. And in that travel case, there's like six slots for cartridges. And I like to keep about four uh, cartridges in there for traveling. Um, just kind of things that I know when I'm on the road would be a lot of fun to play. And I have a feeling that I'm going to put... I don't have a feeling. I'm definitely doing it. I actually have already done it. So I don't even know why I'm speaking as if it hasn't happened yet. Uh, but I am putting Loop Hero, um, the cartridge, in uh, the Switch case so that I can take it on the road. Because Loop Hero is just a really fun game that has a lot of replayability and is a great uh, on-the-go gaming experience. Anyway, yeah, so I beat it. Uh, Loop Hero by Devolver Digital. They, they had a... Devolver Digital had their, their big... Um, presentation this last week showing all the new games that are coming out and then they had a big sale on Steam and I went and, I went and bought the sale <laughs> like a bundle of games on Steam uh, I don't remember if it includes Loop Hero or not I hope it did um, because I'd like to play it on my Steam Deck as well but yeah it's finished but not finished uh, it's finished enough that I probably won't mention it again on these videos but it is not finished in that uh, I am probably going to play it again uh, on the road. So, uh, what else did I finish? Well, I, I mentioned that I was playing uh, the Team 17 Evercade collection on uh, my Evercade EXP and also on my, my Evercade Versus. Uh, specifically, I was playing Alien Breed uh, 1, the special edition that is on this. Well, I did finish it. Um, it was a lot of fun. I will say that I'm not sure the gameplay has aged perfectly. Uh, uh, I'm not sure the gameplay has aged terribly well. Um, I mean, it's not, like, bad, but it is more repetitive than you would allow these days. It's, it definitely feels like a game from, you know, 1991. But I did. I finished Alien Breed 1. Uh, and then I did start uh, Alien Breed 2, uh, The Horror Continues, which is the sequel. Um, I haven't gotten too far in it. I just started it the other night. 
Uh, I know that I said I wanted to play all three of the Alien Breeds games uh, on the Evercade, um, but I'm a little bit worried that I won't have the stamina to work my way through the entire trilogy, because I, you know, I get halfway through a trilogy and I'm like, I want to move on, I want to play something else. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, I am enjoying the sequel. The sequel is kind of more of the same. <laughs> so uh, all of the all of the 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 problems with the first one, how it hasn't really aged well, its gameplay is very repetitive, kind of apply to the second one. Um, but it's fun. It's fun to experience these older titles, especially these these Alien Breed games, which I never actually played when they first came out. I mean, I did play Alien Breed one um, on DOS. Technically, I played it on on CPM. I was not a DOS guy, but um, whatever. I did play it there. I, I didn't really enjoy the MS DOS version. Um, I do think that, and you know, and it could just be, you know, my memory's not, my memory of the DOS version isn't perfect. But uh, I will say that the Amiga one, the Amiga version, the original Amiga version, was really fun. Um, but anyway, Team Seventeen uh, finished Alien Breed one, started Alien Breed two. Uh, all right, so what else? What else am I playing this week? Well, uh, I'm still playing Resident Evil Four. Um, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. I don't have much to say. Uh, where am I right now? I haven't played it in a couple of days, so trying to remember where I am is is always kind of difficult. Um, I think I'm in the castle. I haven't met up with Louise again. I think I'm in the section where you're raising the, the, the bridge to get across and you have to boost uh, the president's daughter. I can't remember her name. Rachel. Is it Rachel? I'm going to say Rachel. You have to boost her. You have to boost Rachel up on the, the platform overhead and you got to uh, snipe the guys that are attacking her as she's turning the wheels. Uh, that's I think that's where I am. Um, I will say that that is... Uh, um, that's a sequence in the, the original game that I always found really frustrating, <laughs> and I'm finding it just as frustrating playing the remaster. It's not, it is absolutely not my favorite uh, section of the game, but uh, I'm still enjoying the game, and uh, I, I got nothing else to say. It's Resident Evil 4 remaster. It's fun. Um, I'm also still playing Grim Fandango. Although, I have to be honest, uh, in the last week I've only played a little bit, so I haven't gotten much further than where I uh, was in the previous video. Uh, but I am still playing it, I do intend to finish it. Um, it's fun. Still playing it. Um, Alright, so, what's new? The following are all things that are completely new this week. Um, the first one I'm going to start with is something that... Uh, it's going to be like last week, where I probably had a switch where I put these videos. I, I currently upload the What Are You Playing videos on Monday, and then I upload the uh, What's in Criswell's Pendulous Mail Sack on Friday. The problem is, is sometimes I get a game during a week that comes in the mail that I then play, and it means that because I record this and those over the course of the previous week, it means that sometimes I will play a game in the What Are You Playing video before the video goes up that shows me unboxing it. Um, it happened last week with the Team 17, and it's going to happen again this week with uh, with this game at least. Maybe also the other game. I don't remember when the other game came. Anyway, this is the one game that is uh, new uh, that is in the unboxing videos that hasn't gone up yet. Uh, this is Hustle Chummy for the uh, Sega SG-1000. So what is Hustle Chummy? Hustle Chummy is uh, a, like a, a single screen um, platformer, sort of. It, it, it reminds me a lot of the old Popeye arcade game. That's really what it, it kind of reminds me of. It's that same style of gameplay. Um, uh, but what, what makes it unique uh, is it was developed by Compile. Compile, of course, is this legendary developer, and they've done a lot of stuff, an awful lot of great shooters from the 80s, other games that are a lot of fun, and uh, this is one of their really early ones for the uh, Sega SC-1000. Um, and um, the basic premise of the game is you're this little mouse, you're running around in sewers, you're, you're getting uh, treats 
food that is left around in the sewers, and you're avoiding bad guys. But uh, the conceit is that when you pick up food, every item of food that you pick up causes your character to move slower. So it's, it's this risk versus reward thing of going out, finding the food, uh, moving slower, and then working your way back to your, your mouse home to drop the food off. And the, the levels are completed when you've brought all the food back and you haven't died. Um, but of course, like I said, the, the more food, food you pick up, the slower your character is. Um, anyway, it's a lot of fun. I, I, a lot of the SC-1000 games can be a little bit rough. Um, because, you know, it's, it's not a terribly powerful system. It's, it's the system that Sega put out before the Master System, before the Mark III. Uh, which was a very powerful 8-bit system, truth be told. Um, this thing is not that. This is the system before that. And it, it has some rough edges. And some of the games that I have for it, you know, I've got Galaga for it. And I have to be honest, it's probably the worst version of Galaga that I own. And I love Galaga, but the SC-1000 version of Galaga is not great. That being said, Hustle Chummy is a lot of fun. Like, I really have been putting a lot of time in this. Uh, uh, it's just been something that I've been playing quite a bit. Um... And I mean, I'd love to say I recommend it, but if, you know, it's pretty obscure if you don't have an SC-1000 or a, a Mega SG with the appropriate adapter to play the things, you probably can't play it. But, uh, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. What else is new? Um, another thing that is new, uh, Earth Knight. Um, I don't remember when I unboxed this. This is a fairly recent thing. This is a limited run game. It's not one of their numbered ones. But uh, it's uh, one of their actually properly limited numbered games. Uh, I, I don't remember how many, but it's like maybe less than a thousand of these were made. Um, this, uh, and I've been playing it lately. Um, so what is this? Well, uh, Earth Knight is a, it's an auto runner platformer. So uh, kind of like the Bit Trip Hero games, stuff like that, where your character is just always running, you know, to one, to the, to the right of the screen and you control their jump and maybe a little bit of their motion but for the most part they're kind of moving on their own um, and your whole job is it becomes this kind of like um, uh, uh, strategic falling like you know you don't have a whole lot of control your character's moving but what you do control is is their jumps and uh, their dashes and stuff like that to you know jump on enemies avoid enemies um, but you're running along the, the back of these dragons, performing various platforming things, picking up loot along the way, and your goal is to survive to the head of the dragon, where you then attack the dragon and defeat it. And then you rinse and repeat, you jump off that dragon and jump down to the next dragon and do the same thing. Um, it's a fun game, I'm enjoying it. It's, uh, it's one of these games that was like on my list for a while, and then I noticed that Limited Run was doing a physical release, so I had to pick it up. Um, and it's here, and I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. Earth Knight. Enjoying it. Uh, what else is new this week? Uh, well, uh, 2K Drive. Lego 2K Drive is new this week. Um, I uh, started playing this with my daughter uh, the other night. It's funny. I haven't, I, haven't, I haven't played it single player at all. I've only played it with my daughter. Um, but what is it? It's a kart racing game uh, with Lego characters. Like, that's really all you need to know. Mario Kart with, with Lego characters. Um, it's a lot of fun. I am enjoying it. I will admit, if I have any complaints about it, um, one of the one of the things that's really fun about a Lego game, like a traditional Lego game, Lego video game, is that you have the ability to like break things. Like your character will go up and punch something, and it like shatters, and all the pieces go everywhere. You would think in a driving game with Lego piece with Lego characters, you would think that there'd be like big spectacular ca crashes where like the Lego pieces go all over the course. That doesn't really seem to be the case. Um, there might be some, like, Lego destruction happening in it, but if it's happening, it's so minor and so insignificant that I don't even notice it. Which is a little disappointing. You would, you would hope that a Lego racing game would just have, like, Lego pieces shattered all over the, the racetrack, you know, when some big shit happens. Um, but, whatever. It's still a lot of fun. I'm enjoying it, playing it with my daughter. It's a lot of fun. What else is new? So I, uh, I played with uh, my friends last week. Um, we played a little bit of No Man's Sky, although 
if I'm perfectly honest, we struggled. Uh, it, it was a combination of, I mean, I've put like 800 hours easily into No Man's Sky over the years. It's been one of those games that I, I just play a lot. But um, it has been maybe a year or so since we've played, sat down and played No Man's Sky, and the, we forgot all the controls. Like, you know, it was bad. It was like three uh, dudes in their 40s and 50s really struggling <laughs> to remember how to get in and out of your ship. And, uh, and we had an audience. We had a friend of a friend who was watching our stream. And, like, so it was a little embarrassing. Anyway, we did play that for a little bit. And we also struggled because it was like we kept having situations where like our bases wouldn't load properly. It was a whole lot of weird glitches. It was not a very productive evening of No Man's Sky. So we switched from No Man's Sky and played Gang Beasts. Uh, we played that uh, probably another hour. Um, Gang Beasts is a lot of fun. It's a little fighting game with like uh, ragdoll physics and really almost like uh, um, co-op style controls. Uh, you just like its controls are really clunky and intentionally clunky, um, but it is. It's a blast. We've played it in the in the past with my daughter, like all all of us together, and it's a lot of fun. But we we played it together the the, the three of us that night when we couldn't get No Man's Sky to work the way we wanted it to. Anyway, looking at my notes, making sure I got everything. I think I did. I think I talked about everything I'm playing this week. I don't know how to end end videos. That's the perpetual issue is that I I suck at ending videos. I don't know. Whatever. Goodbye.